Hi everybody, it's Wolf and Walker here. Uh, I'm just going to do a local walk today, basically, around the Abbey, Upshire in precise. I think I'm going to go into Warley's Park, uh, have a mooch around, see what's uh, happening, if anything, and then we're going to take it from there. So without further ado, put your best foot forward and enjoy the video. Yeah, uh, surprising, the weather's really good today I say that I always uh, I let you know what the weather's like it's a good talking point it's a good start to the video and then you can see how, how it uh, will deteriorate as the video goes along So here we've got a local Upshire school. I've actually got a railway carriage and it looks like it's been converted into a classroom or used as a classroom. That's great stuff. You've got the uh, Platinum Jubilee bunting out there. Fantastic. Fantastic bit of uh, recycling and reuse. Don't know about cattle finding their way out, I can't find my way in. There we go, That's, it was straightforward. I just made a meal of it. Yeah folks, I'll put a link in the description below to a video I made about two years ago in Warley's Park. Uh, it'd been snowing, the ground was really precarious and you can see how I'll get on, so have a look and enjoy. Yeah, if you ever come to Waltham Abbey, it's worth checking out this Warley's Park. It's great if you just want like a nice peaceful walk. You can see it's all, it's a bit wild, but it's, uh, it's got its own, own thing going on. Often overlooked as well. See if we can find out where that pergola I've got. For, I, know, I know it's down here somewhere. Obviously, now we're just entering. So we're just before summer, start of summer. Uh, there's a lot more greenery. You can't always locate things as easily. It was down here on the left. <laughs> oh, we shall see. Folks, it seems that I'm lost. Well, I'm not lost, I'm lost within the perimeter, so as long as I stay in the perimeter, I won't... Uh, I'm trying to look for this pergola. It was so easy, I can see it for miles and just walk straight to it in the winter time. Yeah, it's starting to go a bit... It's going a bit wolf and walk already. The weather's changing as well. It's uh, getting stormy. Let's have... There's the cattle over the cattle are over there. That's well, they're normally over here. So is it me? Perhaps I'm lost. I don't think so. Let's 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 let's, uh, let's have a look. Try and find it. 
Yeah, it's times like this I need a drone, I think. Just for my own sanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I can't believe it. Get an aerial view and I can see see where it is. Come to think of it, I mean I've obviously I've done this walk quite a few times in the summer. I've actually never seen this pergola in the summer, so it probably is the growth, the tree growth. So I'm looking around, was that it, is that it? <laughs> anyway, see you somewhere folks. If you want to see it, come on a, on a winter's, winter's day and you'll see it clearly. Here we go folks, I finally found it. There's a pagoda in the middle of the lake. I finally found what I was looking for, folks. It took me ages, but I got there in the end. Perseverance is key. That is public right of way, however, someone broke the gate on purpose so we don't get through, but I know another way anyway. Yeah, you still get a lot of that, yeah, people just, they restrict you, and maybe it's a public footpath. I see, I'll just flip you around so I can talk to you. There's actually a footpath here as well, which we can uh, access. But uh, I've had signs up saying, oh no, you can't. Let's turn you around so you can see my face properly. There we go, it's a better profile. Yeah, you get uh, a lot of this. It's uh, some people that like to control other people. It's a, it's, it seems to be a thing nowadays. Um, they know better. You know, I've had f a public footpaths blocked, saying no admittance, private property, and it is public footpath. So just, just be, be mindful of that. But uh, don't let anyone boss you around. I actually went through one where it said private, and I knew it was a public footpath. Walked right through the loan, the owner's land. Didn't didn't bat an eyelid. Didn't say a word. So there we go. The proof's always in the pudding. Uh, as long as you definitely know it's a public footpath, you go right ahead. Walkers right of way. So I've just come through this one there. And hopefully they haven't. <coughs> That's me being stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're through. Public footpath. And I actually remember there was a sign up here saying private. It's not private, it's a public footpath. Go down this way. I'm, I'm in search of the other, the other obelisk. And that's on a farm, uh, supposedly private land, but there's a public footpath goes right through it, right through the back of greenhouses. Yes, greenhouses. I think the ramblers might have been down there. They've sorted that out a bit now. They are, uh, yeah, custodians of the public footpath, the ramblers. Uh, they don't just take any nonsense. They go along with their uh, edge cutting gear and whatnot. <laughs> and just reopen it if it's been the actual access has been abused There we have it, the second obelisk. Uh, if you want to, obviously there's two obelisks. There's the main obelisk, I call it the main obelisk. I think it's the original. This one is sort of Victorian by the look of the brickwork on it. 
Uh, yeah, I'll leave a description to my other videos that's got the uh, other obelisk, the main obelisk. This weather's so unpredictable on this walk. I think it's got to be the most unpredictable weather I've ever encountered. And that's when I'm videoing as well, or not videoing. It's so changeable. You, It's like really warm at the moment. The sun, sun's out and you're, you're all expecting a massive clap of thunder. And uh, I've got my coat. I always bring my coat covering for wet weather. It seems to be a curse with me, like a wet weather curse. It's not so much when I'm walking, not videoing, when I'm walking from walking groups and all that. But as soon as I come out with a bloody camera, it, 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 I'll have to have a word with him upstairs. He's, uh, yeah, he does push it a bit sometimes. <laughs> I'm just round the corner. Got the full Cobbins Brook. It's not doing much at the moment. It's really, it rained a couple of days ago, but nothing much. There's no flow on that whatsoever. I'm just looking down there. Because I'm aware they've started to release beavers into the wild again. That actually looks like a dam just through 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 yonder now here we have a classic example of footpath brutalism uh, we're just coming up to breach barns mobile stroke caravan site uh, according to my OS map the public footpath goes straight, so straight up the side of the house that you can see in front of you. And it's obviously been blocked. Well, I know it's been blocked, I've been here before. Uh, so you have to go right the way round and pick the path up the other side. But it's just a classic example of people abusing the system. So I'm all on track, uh, folks. It's a public footpath. There's something kicking down here. Cool. It smells like raw sewage. You're alright though, you don't have to put up with it. <laughs> That's it. Got some white goods down here. Someone's dumped. Lovely. Some people have just got no, no idea, no respect. Here we go into the woods. continue our pathway. <laughs> now, I don't know what the problem's going to be here. It's either my weight's going to bust it, or I'm not going to be able to get me, or get me carcass over. No, it's pretty solid. Some super glued it. There we go, a clear jump. <laughs> Interesting bit of information, folks. To my right is the wood I've just come out of. To my left, you've got open landscape and it's called Rifle Range Butts. I've got no idea what that means, but there's obviously nothing there. There's no one shooting or anything like that. If anyone knows if you could let me uh, give me the information please. But uh, I've never heard anyone shooting as I've come along this bit. Thank God for that. 
Oh, I think I'm going to start singing. No, I better not sing, I'll get a copyright claim. I've had one of those already. I've had a discussion with YouTube, but uh, there's two reasons why you don't want me to start singing. One, I'm out of breath. No, it's actually three. One, I'm out of breath. Two, I can't sing. But three, I'll probably get another copyright claim. So, I uh, just taken a huge detour. I went wrong, I went left instead of right. So I've actually come back, and we're now crossing the rifle butt range. Pretty confident the footpath is straight. I'm on a hill at the moment, it's taking out on me. Still need to lose a few stone, I think, to keep me in trim. Let's, uh, let's continue this walk, and hopefully we're on the right path this time. Now we've got quite an ascent, folks. It's uh, turned from a breeze, it's getting a little bit stronger now. The, uh, the air current, should I say. Absolutely, these fields are full of colour. Near the wildlife, it's animals scampering in the background. There's a brook to the left. Not a, it's like a brook or some sort of waterway. So through this little sty, another sty. This one's a little bit bigger. A lot more pleasant going through as well. And we're over to the manor house and sewage farm. That's what it says on my map. Having said that, this is a little bit more difficult, this one. Let's cut that back a bit. Otherwise I'm not gonna... Ah, that's it. Across the field, where that fencing is, there's a alleyway or public footpath. Right, so there we've got it. I'm gonna to have to get through. Otherwise I've got a long detour. Might have to run through. Yeah, I've got to to take me backpack off. Now we'll get through this frog swamp of an alley. to the dogs. That's it, I'm going up a hill, I'm walking backwards. Uh, the sun's so you can see me, my face, my ugly mug. It's a good walk, I'm enjoying this. It's, uh, I think I've done this part of it uh, probably about two years. Slightly changed or I forgot. You know what it's like, you get older, you start forgetting places. But yeah, so you're not far from civilization. You know, heavy city and it's great. Just go for a little walk outside your back door. You'll be surprised what you find. Just had me dinner in a field or meadow if you like. Uh, I've decided to make my way back now. Uh, I'm going back a different way though. There's the, it's the beauty of Wolfram Abbey up Shire Epping. 
there's loads of different routes, loads of different circular routes and linear routes. Either way, it's always something good to see, nice. Nice to walk. Fresh air. Yes. So the gate well it's actually a gate it's not you think it's a farmer's land but it's actually a public footpath it says please shut the gate uh i'll carry the, i've got the ordnance survey with me so you can always find out i say ordnance survey ordnance survey map well this is old gate i've certainly had me uh trials and tribulations with gates today. That's it, make sure it's nice and secure. Don't mind doing anything like that. Yeah, I was a horse pretending it's a zebra. <laughs> Hello. pretending he's a zebra what are you <laughs> there we go gate crash the video folks if you like my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, it doesn't cost anything either a lot of people misunderstand subscriptions they immediately think you've got to pay. No, you don't have to pay at all. It's just a subscription to see my videos when I release them. So thank you very much for hitting that bell and the people that have already hit the bell. What a bizarre place I've just stumbled across. It's like a pathway. Going for miles. Not miles, it's, I don't know if it's a pathway or not, it looks, I tell you what it looks like, Second World War, it looks like a runway a bit, God knows what I've stumbled across, if anyone knows, how bizarre, it's almost like a road. it's part of the Warley's estate but if you can look down there it's like like a grid concrete grid right I've just found out what this pathway is uh, it's environment agency property uh, the public are permitted access to use this land for the purpose of recreation but do so at their own risk so it's sort of private it's a bit like um, Thames water the new river Access will be restricted from time to time. This, I think, is part of the Cobbins Brook water relief system. So what, what they do, they've got like a water meadow here and they hold it so it seeps gradually through. Yeah, the land is liable to flood. Yeah, I know exactly what this is now. So we're, uh, what is it, Brimstick, Brimstick Hall Road or Brimstick Road? In Wolfram, they got flooded and they had to do like a relief system. I know it's a long way away, but they had to contain the water up here so it, the flow was slower. Oh, that's interesting. I found out that anyway. There's nothing worse than going home with something in your head and you're not sure what it is. That's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.